From ancient to modern times, countless empires have risen to power, only to eventually fall. In this video, we'll explore the strongest empire of each century, from the 7th century BCE to the present day. If you enjoy our videos and want to support our work, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. The Assyrian Empire, dominant in the 7th century BCE, was a powerful Mesopotamian kingdom known for its sophisticated military organization and expansive conquests. Under rulers like Sargon II and Ashurbanipal, the empire stretched from the Persian Gulf to the Mediterranean Sea, encompassing modern-day Iraq, Syria, and parts of Turkey and Iran. The Assyrians were not only skilled warriors, but also pioneers in siege warfare, using advanced techniques and psychological tactics. Their capital, Nineveh, was a hub of culture and learning, housing the great library of Ashurbanipal, which preserved crucial texts of ancient knowledge. The Assyrian Empire's strength lay in its military prowess, administrative efficiency, and the ability to integrate diverse cultures within its vast territories. In the 6th century BCE, the Achaemenid Persian Empire rose to prominence under the leadership of Cyrus the Great. This empire became the largest the world had seen, stretching from the Indus Valley in the east to the Aegean Sea in the west, and from the Caucasus in the north to Egypt and Libya in the south. The Achaemenids are noted for their innovative administrative system, dividing their vast territory into provinces governed by loyal officials. They built an impressive network of roads and developed a postal system that facilitated communication across their empire. Their policy of respect and tolerance for the cultures and religions of conquered peoples helped maintain stability and cohesion. The Achaemenid Persian Empire's combination of military strength, administrative innovation, and cultural inclusivity made it the most powerful empire of its century. The 5th century BCE witnessed the rise of the Athenians, also known as the Delian League. Athens, under leaders like Pericles, established dominance over the Greek city-states and extended its influence across the Aegean Sea. They were not only a military powerhouse, with a formidable navy that secured control over trade routes and protected against Persian encroachment, but also a cultural beacon. Athens became the center of arts, philosophy, and democracy, producing iconic figures such as Socrates, Plato, and Sophocles. The construction of monumental structures like the Parthenon symbolized its cultural and political zenith. The 4th century BCE was dominated by the Macedonian Empire under Alexander the Great. After unifying the Greek city-states, Alexander started a series of military campaigns that created one of the largest empires of the ancient world, stretching from Greece to Egypt and into the Indian subcontinent. His military genius, characterized by the use of the phalanx formation and innovative siege techniques, enabled him to defeat formidable foes like the Persian Empire. Alexander's conquests spread Greek culture and ideas across the known world, a period known as the Hellenistic Age, which influenced subsequent civilizations for centuries. In the 3rd century BCE, the Maurya Empire, under the rule of Emperor Ashoka, became the largest empire in the Indian subcontinent. The Maurya Empire, with its capital at Pataliputra, controlled a vast territory that stretched from modern-day Afghanistan to Bengal and covered almost the entire Indian subcontinent. Ashoka, initially a ruthless conqueror, embraced Buddhism after the bloody Kalinga War and spread its teachings across Asia. He established a centralized administration and promoted welfare policies, including public health and infrastructure projects. The Mauryan state's strong bureaucratic and military structures, along with Ashoka's moral governance, made it a powerful and influential empire of its era. The second century BCE was marked by the ascendancy of the Roman Republic, which was rapidly expanding its territories across the Mediterranean. Through a combination of military conquests, strategic alliances, and political reforms, Rome emerged as a dominant power. The Punic Wars, particularly the decisive Battle of Zama in 202 BCE, ended Carthage's power and established Rome 
as the supreme power in the Western Mediterranean. The Roman Republic's military legions were highly disciplined and adaptable, capable of defeating diverse enemies. Additionally, Rome's legal and political innovations, including the development of Roman law and the republican form of government, laid the foundations for Western civilization. The Roman Republic's combination of military strength, political stability, and cultural influence made it the most formidable power of its century. The Han Dynasty, ruling from 206 BCE to 220 CE, reached its zenith in the 1st century BCE, becoming one of the most powerful and culturally influential empires in ancient China. The Han expanded their territory through military conquests, extending their influence into Korea, Vietnam, and Central Asia, particularly through the Silk Road trade network. Under Emperor Wu, the Han Dynasty implemented a centralized bureaucracy and a merit-based civil service, setting the standard for future Chinese administrations. The period saw significant advancements in technology, such as the invention of paper, and in arts and literature. The Han Dynasty's ability to maintain long-term stability and cultural dominance established it as a cornerstone of Chinese history and the strongest empire of its time. The first century CE was dominated by the Roman Empire, which transitioned from a republic to an autocratic system under Augustus Caesar. This era, known as the Pax Romana, was a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity across the empire, which stretched from Britain to the Middle East and encompassed the entire Mediterranean basin. The Roman Empire's achievements in engineering, law, and governance were monumental. They constructed an extensive network of roads, aqueducts, and monumental buildings, many of which remain to this day. Roman law laid the groundwork for modern legal systems, and the empire's political and military structures influenced countless future states. The Roman Empire's extensive territory, cultural influence, and technological advancements made it the most significant empire of the first century CE. In the second century, the Roman Empire continued to thrive under the Five Good Emperors, a period marked by relative peace, economic stability, and cultural flourishing. Emperor Trajan expanded the empire to its greatest territorial extent, conquering Dacia and parts of the Middle East. The empire's influence reached from the British Isles to North Africa and from Spain to the Euphrates River. During this time, Roman architecture, engineering, and law reached new heights. The Pantheon, with its revolutionary dome and the comprehensive Roman road system, exemplify the empire's advanced engineering skills. Roman citizenship was extended to more people, promoting a sense of unity and stability. The third century was a turbulent period for the Roman Empire, known as the crisis of the third century. Despite internal turmoil, the empire remained a dominant force due to its vast resources and established infrastructure. The Roman military faced numerous challenges, including invasions by Germanic tribes and the Persian Sassanid Empire, internal revolts and economic crises. However, leaders like Aurelian and Diocletian managed to restore stability through military victories and administrative reforms. Diocletian's division of the empire into the Western and Eastern Roman empires and the establishment of the Tetrarchy helped manage the vast territories more effectively. In the 4th century, the Roman Empire underwent significant transformations, including the adoption of Christianity as the state religion under Emperor Constantine the Great. The empire's administrative and military systems were further refined, and Constantinople was established as the new eastern capital. Constantine's reign marked the beginning of the Byzantine Empire, which would preserve Roman traditions for centuries. The Edict of Milan in 313 CE granted religious tolerance, allowing Christianity to flourish and fundamentally transforming Roman society. The empire continued to face external threats, such as the Gothic invasions, but maintained its dominance through a combination of military strength and strategic diplomacy. Following the decline of the Western Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman or Byzantine Empire emerged as the dominant power in the 5th century. 
while the West succumbed to invasions by Germanic tribes, the Byzantine Empire, with its capital at Constantinople, preserved much of the Roman heritage and remained a beacon of stability and culture. Under emperors like Theodosius II and Leo I, the Byzantines defended against various barbarian incursions and maintained control over key territories in the eastern Mediterranean. The construction of the Theodosian walls in Constantinople provided formidable defense against invasions. The Byzantine Empire's strategic location facilitated trade and cultural exchange between Europe and Asia. The 6th century was a period of revival and expansion for the Byzantine Empire under the reign of Emperor Justinian I. Justinian sought to restore the former glory of the Roman Empire through military campaigns, legal reforms, and ambitious architectural projects. His general, Belisarius, led successful campaigns against the Vandals in North Africa, the Ostrogoths in Italy, and the Visigoths in Spain briefly reclaiming large swathes of territory for the empire. The codification of Roman laws in the Corpus Juris Civilis, body of civil law, under Justinian, laid the foundation for modern legal systems in the Western world. The construction of the Hagia Sophia in Constantinople, an architectural marvel of the time, symbolized the empire's cultural and religious significance. The seventh century witnessed the rapid expansion of the Umayyad Caliphate, which became one of the largest empires in history. Following the death of Prophet Muhammad, the Islamic community, under the leadership of the Rashidun and subsequently the Umayyad Caliphs, started a series of conquests that spread Islam across the Middle East, North Africa, and into parts of Europe and Central Asia. The Umayyad Caliphate's administrative capital in Damascus oversaw a diverse and multicultural empire. Key battles, such as the Battle of Yarmouk, 636 CE, and the Battle of Qadisiyah, 636 CE, were instrumental in the rapid expansion of Islamic rule. The Umayyads established a sophisticated administrative system, minted the first Islamic currency, and facilitated trade across their vast empire. In the 8th century, the Abbasid Caliphate emerged as the dominant power after overthrowing the Umayyads in 750 CE. The Abbasid dynasty, with its capital in Baghdad, ushered in a golden age of Islamic culture, science, and learning. The caliphate's central location facilitated trade and cultural exchange along the Silk Road, making Baghdad a hub of intellectual activity. The House of Wisdom, an academic institution in Baghdad, became a center for the translation of Greek, Persian, and Indian texts into Arabic significantly contributing to the preservation and advancement of knowledge. The Abbasids also promoted advancements in mathematics, astronomy, medicine, and engineering. The Tang Dynasty, which ruled China from 618 to 907 CE, reached its peak during the 9th century. Known for its territorial expansion, the Tang Dynasty's influence extended into Central Asia, Korea, and Southeast Asia. The Tang government implemented sophisticated administrative and civil service systems, fostering stability and economic growth. The capital city, Chang'an, modern-day Xi'an, became a bustling cosmopolitan center and a hub of culture and trade, attracting merchants and scholars from across Asia. The Tang period is celebrated for its cultural flourishing, particularly in poetry, painting, and ceramics. The dynasty's support for Buddhism and the establishment of a multicultural and prosperous society underscored its power. The Fatimid Caliphate, established in 909 CE, became a significant power in the 10th century. Originating in North Africa, the Fatimids, who claimed descent from the Prophet Muhammad's daughter Fatima, established their capital in Cairo after conquering Egypt. The Fatimids controlled a vast and strategically important territory that included parts of North Africa, the Red Sea region, and the Mediterranean. They were known for their religious tolerance, which allowed a diverse population of Muslims, Christians, and Jews to coexist. The Fatimid rulers patronized arts, science, and architecture, as seen in the construction of the Al-Ajjar Mosque and the establishment of Al-Ajjar University, a center of Islamic learning. 
The Caliphate's strategic location facilitated trade across the Mediterranean and Indian Ocean. In the 11th century, the Byzantine Empire experienced a period of resurgence under the Macedonian dynasty, particularly during the reigns of Basil II and his successors. Basil II, known as the Bulgar Slayer, expanded the empire's territories in the Balkans, defeating the Bulgarian Empire and securing Byzantine dominance in southeastern Europe. The Byzantine military, featuring the formidable Varangian Guard and an efficient administrative system, maintained the empire's stability and defended its borders. The cultural and economic capital, Constantinople, continued to be a center of trade, art, and scholarship. The Byzantine Empire also played a crucial role in the Christian world, influencing religious and political developments. The 12th century CE saw the rise of powerful North African Muslim dynasties, notably the Almoravid and Almohad empires. The Almoravids, initially a Berber dynasty, expanded their rule across the Maghreb and into the Iberian Peninsula, establishing a strong Islamic presence in the region. They were succeeded by the Almohads, another Berber dynasty that continued to control a vast territory from North Africa to Spain. The Almohads, under leaders like Abd al-Mumin and al-Mansur, were known for their military campaigns against Christian kingdoms in Iberia and their attempts to reform and unify Islamic practices. The construction of monumental structures, such as the Giralda in Seville and the Qutubiyya Mosque in Marrakesh reflects their architectural achievements. The 13th century CE was dominated by the Mongol Empire, the largest contiguous land empire in history, founded by Genghis Khan. The Mongols, originating from the steppes of Central Asia, rapidly expanded their territories through a series of devastating military campaigns. Genghis Khan's unification of the Mongol tribes and his subsequent conquests established Mongol control over vast regions, including China, Persia, Russia, and parts of Eastern Europe. The empire's exceptional mobility, advanced military tactics, and psychological warfare allowed them to defeat well-established armies and fortifications. The Mongols also facilitated trade and cultural exchange across Eurasia, connecting east and west through the Silk Road. The Pax Mongolica, or Mongol Peace, ensured safe passage for merchants, travelers, and scholars. The Ottoman Empire emerged as a formidable power in the late 14th century, laying the foundations for its later expansion into a vast empire. Founded by Osman III, the Ottomans rapidly expanded their territory across the Balkans and Anatolia. The conquest of important cities such as Bursa and Edirne established the Ottomans as a significant force in the region. Under leaders like Murad I and Bayezid I, the Ottomans built a highly efficient military, including the elite Janissary Corps and a sophisticated administrative structure. The Ottomans were known for their tolerance and incorporation of diverse peoples into their empire, which facilitated governance and cultural exchange. The foundation laid in the 14th century set the stage for the Ottomans' conquest of Constantinople and subsequent dominance in the Eastern Mediterranean. Under the following sultans, the Ottoman Empire became a major superpower also for the next centuries to come. The 15th century was marked by the strength and stability of the Ming Dynasty in China. After overthrowing the Mongol-led Yuan Dynasty, the Ming established a strong centralized government with a focus on cultural restoration and economic growth. The reign of the Yongle Emperor saw the construction of the Forbidden City in Beijing and the restoration of the Grand Canal. The Ming Navy, under Admiral Zheng He, conducted seven major maritime expeditions, extending Chinese influence to Southeast Asia, India, the Middle East, and Africa. These voyages demonstrated China's naval capabilities and facilitated trade and cultural exchange. The Great Wall was also significantly rebuilt during this period to protect against northern invasions. The 16th century saw the rise of the Spanish Empire, which became one of the first global empires in history. Following the voyages of Christopher Columbus, Spain established colonies in the Americas, acquiring vast territories and immense wealth 
from the exploitation of resources like silver and gold. The Spanish Empire's military power was demonstrated in its conquests of the Aztec and Inca empires, led by Hernán Cortés and Francisco Pizarro. These conquests brought enormous riches to Spain, transforming it into the wealthiest and most powerful European state. The Spanish Armada dominated the seas, facilitating extensive trade and the spread of Christianity. Spain's global reach extended to the Philippines and throughout the Caribbean, making it a central player in global politics and trade. In the 17th century, the Dutch Republic emerged as a dominant maritime and economic power. The Dutch Golden Age was characterized by unprecedented economic growth, cultural flourishing, and global trade dominance. The Dutch East India Company, VOC, and the Dutch West India Company, WIC, established a global trade network, controlling lucrative spice trade routes in Asia and colonizing parts of the Americas, Africa, and the East Indies. The Dutch Navy became one of the most formidable maritime forces, protecting trade routes and engaging in naval warfare with other European powers. The period also saw significant advances in art, science, and commerce, with Amsterdam becoming a global financial center. The 18th century was dominated by the rise of the British Empire, which expanded its influence globally through colonization, trade, and naval supremacy. The British Navy's victory in key conflicts, such as the War of Spanish Succession and the Seven Years' War, secured British dominance over the seas and established colonial footholds in North America, the Caribbean, India, and Africa. The British East India Company played a crucial role in establishing British control over India, which became the jewel in the crown of the empire. The British Empire's mercantile system and the Industrial Revolution fueled economic growth and technological advancement. The spread of the English language, British legal systems and cultural influence further solidified its global dominance. By the end of the century, Britain had become the world's preeminent maritime and colonial power. The British Empire reached its zenith in the 19th century, becoming the largest empire in history, often described as the empire on which the sun never sets. The Industrial Revolution, which began in Britain, transformed its economy and society, enabling unprecedented industrial and technological advancements. The British Empire expanded its territories, notably through the colonization of Australia, Canada, India, large parts of Africa, and Southeast Asia. British naval dominance was cemented by the Royal Navy, which protected global trade routes and facilitated the empire's control over its vast colonies. The British Empire's influence extended to cultural, legal, and political systems worldwide, promoting English as a global lingua franca. The 20th century was characterized by the rise of the United States and the Soviet Union as superpowers, particularly after World War II. The United States emerged as an economic and military powerhouse, playing a pivotal role in the Allied victory and establishing itself as a leader in global politics, technology, and culture. The U.S. economy became the largest in the world, driven by innovation and industrial production. The United States also became a cultural hegemon, influencing global entertainment, fashion, and lifestyle. The Soviet Union, under communist rule, rapidly industrialized and expanded its influence over Eastern Europe, Central Asia, and other parts of the world. The Cold War era saw the two superpowers competing in military, technological, and ideological arenas, including the space race and nuclear arms race, the rivalry between the U.S. and the Soviet Union shaped global geopolitics, leading to numerous proxy wars and the eventual collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The dominance of these two superpowers defined the global order of the 20th century CE. In the 21st century, the United States continues to be a leading global power, but the international landscape is increasingly multipolar. The U.S. maintains significant influence through its economic strength, military capabilities, technological innovation, and cultural dominance. However, emerging powers such as China, India, and the European Union are playing increasingly significant roles on the world stage. 
China, in particular, has experienced rapid economic growth and expanded its global influence through initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative. It has also modernized its military and asserted its presence in global affairs. The European Union, as a supranational entity, wields considerable economic and political influence, promoting stability and cooperation in Europe and beyond. The 21st century is characterized by complex global challenges, including climate change, cybersecurity, and shifting geopolitical alliances. The United States, along with other emerging powers, shapes a world where multiple actors influence the global order. We could see how each era had its own superpower that changed the course of history. From ancient battles to modern revolutions, these empires shaped the world we live in today. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more historical adventures. Let us know in the comments which empire you think made the biggest impact. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.